This year, I think it's a great the idea. Election did need to come around. I don't think so. I am it's general manager. I think okay, election no, was supposed to call already. Welcome to NBC's Voices of the People. I am Jureen Georges. Today, we pose the question: Are you hopeful that the economy will improve in 2016? Here is what you had to say. At present, the way I see things going, I see no kind of improvement. There is no kind of um, stuff put in place by the authorities to actually indicate that something is going to be done or something is going to be better. I am not too hopeful about that at all, at all. I hope so, because we start like we look, looking like so far. So I hope so. I give them all the hopes. I guess we can be hopeful, but for me, my my trust and confidence is in Jesus Christ. As long as I obey Him, that's all will be well with me. The way things are going, I don't think so. Because things is really hard. The government is not doing anything, so I don't think things will improve. Because things is very bad. Something for a job, six months, no work. Not to have, I don't have a place to put my house. Things is very tough for me. I'm looking for a spot to put my home for tomorrow. If not tomorrow, I'll be on the streets. I really need a spot. Try to help me. Mr. Prime Minister, we need jobs, jobs, jobs. Anything can happen. Yeah, God work everything. Miracles, just talk to him and anything else can happen after that. It will not change. There's too much victimization. I'm a victim of the victimization. I, I, I'm, I've been working, I've been working over a year for a, for a unit for me to put my shop. There's places there that are empty and they refuse to give me a place. They prefer... To, they prefer to see me on the street. You never, you not hear any prime minister speaking about anything. I don't think the economy will change. But we want to see more jobs must be created for, for the young people in this year. Right now we're in a problem with the government. Because the children don't have nothing to go to school. The mothers cannot even support the children. We there cannot even support our own self. Do not even work in properly. The country not in a proper and disciplined manner. So that we could find something to help each other. That's not happening. So we're asking for each every citizen of that country that we'll all come together and uplift a new minister so that we could get proper and disciplined control of that country. This has been NBC's Voices of the People. Join us again on Wednesday for our next segment. Back to our anchors.